Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am The Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do a very special reading with you. It's called The Chiron, Chiron the Wounded Healer. Um, so this is Chiron, the, the Wounded Healer, <clears throat> and this is an asteroid. And this asteroid was named after this guy. Um, so I want to tell you more about this um, and it's imperative that you understand how it works. Um, Chiron was active at your birth in a very specific place. Um, and this is about how Chiron shows up in your natal chart. Now this does not go like the normal sun signs or the moon signs or um, or the, the Venus signs or whatever. You have to, to see specifically at the time of your birth when Chiron was or where was Chiron in your natal chart. Now, if you go down to the description box below, you'll see there's a list of um, dates, um, dates of between this and then. Um, if you know the time of your birth, you can also use that. It just makes it more accurate. You'll see there are times as well where you can see where was your Chiron at your date of birth. Um, and then proceed to that reading, um, the one that is necessary for you to watch. I do, however, recommend that you watch this as your sun sign reading too. Um, normally, astrologers would say that Chiron is only according to your birth chart. As I've done my research around this, um, I've really noticed a lot of the things that is in my birth, my, my sun sign and the people I know and love around me as well, very much pertains to their lives as well. So I would recommend that you watch both your your um, sign that Chiron was in at the date of your birth as well as your sun sign. It is very import, informative. So I will go ahead and go do the different videos now and I hope you enjoy it. Chiron in Leo. So, let me tell you more about the Wounded Healer. So, this is all about a very deep soul wound that you are working through during this lifetime. So, this is not something that is fleeting. This is not something that's going to go away and, okay, yay, I've worked through it, I've healed it. No. This is something you are going to work through for the rest of your life. So, um which is the reason why you are watching this differently from your normal sun sign readings. Even though I do recommend that you watch your sun sign as well, because it really completed the picture for me. Um, so, um, oh yes, what I was going to say is this is a very, very deep soul wound. Um, and at the moment, Chiron is in Aries. Chiron has is a very weird um, orbit. So it, it takes about between 49 and 51 years to complete its route around, um, around or through all the signs. And um, which is the reason why for everybody around 49 to 51 years of age, you come back to where Chiron was when you were born. So it's like, it's the return of Chiron and you would then basically see um, where where have you not paid attention or what have you not paid attention to, what you have paid attention to and where to go from there. So if you are between 49 or 51 years of age, this is probably going to be quite hectic for you. So Leo in or Chiron in Leo, I'm going to read a little bit um, about the Chiron in, in, in Leo, developing confidence in yourself, your gift and your talents, helping you get stronger in who you are, to stand apart from the crowd and on your own. Sorry, I just need to flip the page. I wrote so much. <laughs> um, developing the ability to take a risk, to have fun and let go. Energy of self-expression may have been ridiculed when you were younger. A place of deep wounding. Parts where you feel not worthy of being loved, um, accentuating these parts of yourself and giving you a sense of confidence to own your gifts, own who you are. You may have an aversion to your creative gifts or self-expression because of this very deep wounding that's happened with you or to you. So let's get a move on. So in which chakra lies this feeling of self-consciousness? And we have sacral chakra. So yeah, deep wounding, like we just read. 
um, the fact that you might have been too loud as you as you were growing up or um, not being you might have been doing something that you thought was a very cute and very creative and your parents or your friends or your teachers or whatever told you um, yes that, that does not look good you should not um, proceed with this line of creative thinking this doesn't suit you or something like that it's something that you really felt proud about and you were ridicul you ridiculed because of it and um, that left a very very deep wound sacral chakra is where we process our emotion so that very deep wound for you as Chiron and Leo would be in your sacral chakra right how does this show up in your life and we have material harvest so what this might pertain to the very first thing that comes to my mind is um because you were ridiculed when you were younger or people that really didn't like much of what you were doing you basically forced yourself to start doing something that you don't like just to make money and when your heart is not in this you will not be able to be prosperous in a way that you can have your material harvest because you are just working in order to live and to survive and to get enough money to do something but you are not happy within yourself and if you're not happy in yourself then it doesn't show on the outside how can you heal this ability to take risks for your happiness wow become the empress now the empress this is interesting the empress is all about thinking creatively um, creating something from nothing that's what she's good at that's what she does she puts a little seed in the ground and if it takes a week or two months or two years to actually make come up and make a little plant and grow it doesn't matter she nurtures she keeps on nurturing that she's a very nurturing energy and this is what you need to do how you can um, so what was the question again how how can you heal your ability to take risks for your happiness? There you go. This is how you become happy, is you take something that, that you love and that is the, that creative part of you that you've become to, that you've come to hate because other people didn't like it. Um, and you are then able to start creating with that gift and with working with that gift and creating with that gift you get to create not create <laughs> sorry this is i'm i'm my channel in here is is quite difficult i'm i'm obviously working with a very different energy um it's difficult for me to put it in words what i feel and what what spirit is trying to show me um by working with this gift you will be able to grow this gift and to make it bigger that's the only way I can I can try to relate what I'm seeing in my mind is you you can grow this gift by nurturing it and this is she's fertile she grows she nurtures um, and that's how you can start to take risks in your life um, or to heal this ability to take risks because you can it's just that you've been ridiculed so much in your life and you've gone through so much sadness and pain that you have um, stopped this ability inside of yourself. Now you simply don't take risks anymore because it, it hurts so deeply that you don't want to be exposed to that again. Then how can you develop your own gifts without feeling self-conscious and unsure? There we go. Deception and envy. Now this card is all about this might either be something that you are feeling, but what I get here is that other people are actually envious of you. So they deceive you in saying, whatever you're doing, you shouldn't. This is really not good. In fact, they are actually seeing the potential in it and they're very envious about it. So they deceive you. Um, so the question was, how can you develop your own gifts without feeling self-conscious and unsure? screw other people and what they say that's basically what this card says don't worry about what other people thinks and says about you because remember they only ever see you through their own filter and that's what comes out 
this wounding of yours was also, it was something that was through someone else's filter, not through your own. You don't see things the same way that they did. And then advice from Chiron. There we go. Poised. Poised for your new life. Be ready because it's coming. It's coming. If, if you just start to work with these healing energies that Chiron is offering you right now, this it is a whole new life ahead of you guys i did not i decided to not do extended readings for this kind of reading if you would like a private reading please see in the description box below is my website um you're welcome to purchase a, a personal reading from there if you'd like um thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you being here and i really hope that this helped um i would want to try and, and do this more often because I think this is because this is something you have to work with for the rest of your life I feel it's very important guys I will see you